six months after Madonna Badger lost her family when her home burned down on Christmas morning, it is still obviously, understandably, so raw for her. It will be for the rest of her days, including, we should note, her anger over her lingering questions about the investigation into that house fire. Here now, part two of her conversation with Matt Lauer. Early on Christmas morning, a few hours after Madonna Badger was brought to the emergency room, she finally learned the terrible truth. Who told you? Uh, the doctor that was on duty. It was a brand new doctor. And she took Mike's hand and she took my hand and put them together, you know. And she said, and she held them. And she said, your three children are gone. And probably your mom and dad, but we don't know that for certain. And then, oh my God, I just, I couldn't believe it. Badger spent days in the hospital overcome with grief. Only later did she learn that just a day after the fire, her house had been demolished. All that was left was a vacant lot. After the funeral, I had an interview with the police. And the first question they asked me was, why did you have your house torn down? And you said? I said, I didn't have my house torn down. What are you talking about? You know? And they said, well, we were told that you had your house torn down. I was like, no. And then I asked them if they could help me get anything out of the house, that I wanted to know where my things were, you know, that were in the house that might have, you know. And salvageable. And uh, they said, we'll find out. And so within a three or four day period, they, um, they brought uh, a bag of stuffed animals, black contractor bag of stuffed animals. That was it. And that was it. The state's attorney concluded the fire was most likely caused by the disposal of fireplace ash, a theory Badger had hysterically blurted out to a fire official the morning of the blaze. Do you think that became the entirety of the investigation? Do you think they just said, okay, it was those ashes? What do you think? You think it could have been something else? Yes. And yet once the house was torn down and the demolition occurred, you really don't have any way to carry on your own investigation into that? No. There was no inventory done of my house. They've given me no inventory. The house was uh, torn down. They've taken everything, and they don't know where it is. So even what they demolished and took away, they can't tell you where they took it? No, they won't tell me. I've asked them. They didn't keep anything forensically out of my house. Not one fire alarm, not a smoke alarm, not an electrical panel not the electric meter itself. I when have you consider nothing. that five people died in that building, you think that's odd? I think from everything that everyone has told me, it's very odd. Um, I think it's a crime. This is one of the questions that nags you, and that is why was that house torn down so quickly? Was the investigation thorough? Investigating fires is a very serious business. All of my family members died, five people. How is that not considered a crime scene? I want to know not only what caused my fire, I want to know um, why didn't the fire alarms go off? The hardwired alarms had batteries in them. Why didn't those go off? How is it that they don't save those alarms because alarms can be tested after the fact. That's what you do in a fire investigation. Madonna Badger says she still doesn't know who ordered the demolition. She's filed a legal notice that will allow her to sue the city of Stamford. I don't believe that the ashes caused the fire. It just doesn't seem like a plausible explanation. She says she simply wants answers. Those questions that are unanswered, those questions you've told me about, is it, in, is it imperative for you to answer those questions for Lily, Grace, and Sarah, and your parents? Absolutely. You know, to honor, to honor them with the truth. You know, I, I believe they deserve that. 
And if the truth is that a bag filled with some ashes from a fireplace Caused set this? their house on fire, that's okay too, in terms of an answer? I mean, absolutely. You know, I have to live with them being gone every single day. The cause of that fire is important for me to know in order to somehow find some peace. Less than two weeks after the tragedy, Madonna Badger delivered a touching eulogy for her three little girls. What you wrote about them was beautiful. I have three children. And um, as I listen to you describe your girls, I think every parent could see some of his or her children in your descriptions. My girls are in my heart. They're right here. And this is where they live now. You speak in the present mm. with your daughters and your mom and your dad. Consciously or subconsciously? Um... Definitely subconsciously, um, sometimes consciously. Why um, consciously? Because I feel them. They're, he they're with me. You know, they're, they're not here physically. Um, but I feel them. My children. They're my mom and dad. Think you'll always feel that way? I hope so. So when you ask how someone in that circumstance goes on, there's your answer. A fund has been established in honor of those three little girls, Lily, Sarah, and Grace. It will support the arts in public elementary schools. There's information about it on our website. While we note this has been extraordinarily tough on those firefighters who responded to that fire that night, we should also note as a legal matter, the city of Stamford, Connecticut, has declined to address the specific questions raised by Madonna Badger, citing the possibility of a future lawsuit.